just giving him some space. Good morning, it's uh, Monday morning and I made it safely to Shinguezi camp last night. Um, got there at about 4 o'clock, uh, got some firewood and some meat and uh, yeah, I had a good night's sleep. So this morning decided to go north a little bit um, up towards Pafuri, not quite as far as Pafuri but just taking the main road up and I'm, I'm now on a, a little loop um, which basically loops along the Shinguezi River and um, yeah hoping to, to see something this morning just come across some impala here so uh, yeah, let's see what the day brings. Another day in the bush, which is fantastic. So it's another, what looks like a cloudy, misty morning. Um, not much sunlight coming through yet. Uh, but yeah, more in parlor. Okay, so I've just uh, I've just seen another two leopards. Um, I'm along the riverbank here. I'll show you in a second. And I saw something moving through through the riverbed on the other side. And at first, I thought it was a jackal, just because of the size. It was quite small. And uh, so I stopped, took out the binoculars, had a look. It was actually a young leopard. And um, yeah, she uh, it crawled up the other side of the bank. And basically then the mother appeared from behind a bush and the two of them just walked out you know into the into the behind the bushes into into the thicket there so i've lost them now but um for probably a good minute or so um i was watching them across the other side of the bank it's quite far now so you're not going to see much but basically that riverbed just across the other side there um you can see there's a quite a big tree they basically crawled or walked up the bank um, met the mom near that tree and then they walked into the into the thicket so I've lost them for now but wow well, yeah that was another another special sighting two leopards or four leopards now mom and mom and a youngster um, in two separate locations in the park in two days which is fantastic yeah let's keep looking Okay, I've stopped for some coffee and I've stopped next to a little, like a little pool that I found here next to the road. And after about a minute or so of just watching the pool, all of a sudden I saw a couple of hippos pop up. So you're probably not going to see them from here, but let's see, if, let's see what we can, we can show you. Okay, so I'm finished doing this little loop um, to the north of Shinguezi and yeah, it's been good. Seen, like I said, the two 
leopard this morning uh, lots and lots of water back in this area um, obviously impala lots of impala I saw one or two lone buffalo a um, couple of giraffe I've seen some zebra um, but yeah I made it up as far as the Sereni bush camp and I'm basically gonna make my way back to the main road now head south just past Shinguezi and uh, there's a little loop there along the along the river that I'd like to do there's one or two little river crossings and uh, you basically follow a route um, that hugs the, the river for probably 10 or 15 kilometers so I want to go and do that now and then the plan will be to make it back to camp by probably 11 o'clock have some uh, have some breakfast and then this afternoon I'd like to do the the loop down it's I think it's is a place called Kani do it and um, I think it's also along the, the river there's a lookout over the Shinguezi River so the plan this afternoon is to go and do that uh, that particular loop um, yeah let's see how it goes so the southern ground hornbill is apparently endangered and quite rare although we've seen a couple uh, since we've been here Karen and I and here we go here are a couple more Okay, I'm at a place called Red Rocks Lookout. Um, it's one of the rare places where you can actually get out of your car and um, and have a look around. Oh, I don't know if you can see the elephant there, out in the distance, up there somewhere, on the rocks, and then um, down to the left, oh, some water buck. Pretty peaceful out here. Beautiful. I've stopped here on this little bridge which crosses the Shinguezi River and to my left I've just been watching these little pied kingfishers diving into the water um, obviously trying to catch something to eat and then I looked over to the right and um, obviously with the binoculars just scanning across the rocks to try and find some other kingfishers um, and as I scanned over the water, I saw the little outline of a crocodile. I'm just going to go forward a little bit, um, just so that we can maybe bring him into view a little bit better. Um, but he's probably about a hundred meters down in the water, and just where the kind of reflection of the trees in the water is. Yeah, he's lying there patiently waiting for some little impala to come down and have a drink of water. But there you go. Always helps to stop on the bridge, maybe switch the engine off and just have a listen and have a have a look around and see what you can see. Because you never know what's lurking around.
these guys are looking far too chilled here. I hope there's no leopard lurking around. For your guys' sake. whole herd of buffalo on the other side of the bank there must be I don't know 300 buffalo here very nice to see come across elephants in the road you generally give them the right of way Just giving him some space. Okay, we're on the move again. Um, this time we're heading south out of Shinguenzi camp down the S50. Uh, we're gonna go to a place called Kanidurit. I think I believe there's a dam there. There's a there's a hide that overlooks uh, that dam. So should be a good good spot to have a sundowner. 
and uh, see what arrives at the waterhole for uh, for an afternoon drink. Um, yeah, I'm just riding along the Shinguezi River now, seeing some uh, some impala and some zebra in the actual riverbed, and uh, there's a there's an elephant who's kind of just standing in the middle of the riverbed. I'll see if I can find a gap and just show you. Yeah, there we go. So just a lone Ellie on his own in the riverbed on a Monday afternoon. Lots of Ellie's in this area. It's definitely um, a lot bigger trees um, than there were down further south in the middle of the park. So I guess that suits the elephants. But uh, yeah, as you saw earlier, driving back from that loop this morning, must have driven through a herd of maybe 15, 20 uh, elephants and yeah it's not long you don't drive long before you before you come across another ellie so definitely big ellie country um and as we saw lots of impala lots of zebra and lots of buffalo this morning but let's see what the afternoon drive yields So just as I was saying, came around the corner and um, yeah, straight into another herd of Ellie's. These ones are a little bit younger and they seem to be they seem to be playing. I'm just gonna see if I can back up a bit here. Because there's a, there's a little game happening here between these two. It's quite cute. Okay, we we'll carry on. Some more elephants up ahead, and this time there's a what looks to be a very, very recent addition. Tiny little guy. So I'm gonna keep my distance. We're not gonna get too close. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny little Ellie just in front of that smaller one.
so I'm about 50 meters away from this little baby and I don't want to go any closer because I don't want to risk it um, but wow it's just amazing uh, they're crossing now rubbing up against the tree, just rubbing her side there. So the little baby is just next to, just on the left hand side of that tree. So now, uh, she's just waiting there. in front of mom. I think we can Awesome was that. Oh, don't speak too soon. There's some more alleys up ahead, and it looks like another little one. Wow, we're just surrounded by elephants here. Okay, I'm gonna keep driving. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, made it to the hide. Let's uh, go and see what we can see at the river. So in addition to the, um, the palm trees and the mapani trees and the sycamore trees, I've noticed a couple of these fever trees, um, which are really, really beautiful. Have a look at this.
clearly that big herd has uh, passed through this area a little while back. Okay, so I've made it all the way down south on this S50 dirt road um, along the Shinguezi River and I'm now at a point called Depeni, which basically is a bit of a historical site. It's right close to the Mozambican border and it's a place where um, people used to cross the border from Mozambique into South Africa and the reason it's called Depeni is because I think in, in the local language that translates into like dip, dipping place or dipping tank, Depeni. So this is where in the height of foot and mouth disease, um, those people crossing from Mozambique into South Africa would typically, you know, have to disinfect um, their feet, like walk through a dipping tank to prevent the spread of foot and mouth or prevent from bringing it into South Africa. So. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the end of the road for today. I'm gonna head back up this S50 the same way that I came down. We are fast approaching magic hour. So um, the sun is now getting nice and low on the horizon. And um, yeah, this is traditionally the time when the animals uh, become quite active the bush the wind start quieting down beautiful time of day it's uh yeah everything comes alive the colors are vibrant the sky will light up just now and um yeah hopefully we should see some some activity as the end of the day draws near and um yeah i'll make my way back to shingwezi rest camp and Oh, basically another day in the bush done. Fantastic. Let's see what we see on the road back.
again, this is one of those places you can actually get up, get out of your car. So let's go have a look on the other side of the bridge. Beautiful colors in the sun. tomorrow.